one can determine if a system of linear equations has a solution or not by understanding the equation's consistency and dependency. This video will show you how. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. The way for us to understand consistency and dependency will be through examples. And in this video, we will be discussing the checks through equations in two variables. The same concept can be followed when there are more variables in the equations. For the first case, we have the equations x plus 2y is equal to 5 and negative 2x plus y is equal to 15. As we are to look for the values of x and y, and we have only two variables involved, we can simply look for the solutions using substitution method, and that with the first equation making x equal to 5 minus 2y. Let's call this equation 3. If we substitute this into the second equation, we get negative 2 of the quantity 5 minus 2y plus y is equal to 15. Distribute values to have negative 10 plus 4y plus y is equal to 15, making 5y as 25, and if we divide everything by 5, we end up with y equal to 5. This value of y is again plugged into equation 3 to get x as 5 minus twice of 5, giving x equal to negative 5. If we illustrate the two equations in the graph, we can note that they actually intersect at a single point. And that point is at negative 5 and positive 5, which are the values of x and y. This is the case of an independent and consistent system of equations. We discussed the second case using the equations x plus y is equal to 3 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 6. And again, to determine the values of x and y, we use elimination method, where we multiply the first equation by 2 to have 2x plus 2y is equal to 6. And this will be subtracted by the second equation, 2x plus 2y is equal to 6. And so if we subtract the two equations, we cancel out all terms, leaving us with 0 is equal to 0. If we illustrate the lines once more, we would notice that the first equation is the same with the second equation, as the second is just the multiple of the first, and so each point of the line will be the intersection, giving infinite number of solutions. This case is described as dependent but consistent. With the two equations, 2x plus 4y is equal to 27, and 3x plus 6y is equal to 6. Let's use the method of elimination again to attempt figuring out the variable's values. So if we multiply the first equation with 1.5, we get 3x plus 6y is equal to 40.5. Then we subtract the second equation, where 3x are cancelled out with 6y thus having 0 as equal to 34.5. At this point, we note that this is a false equation. Let's prove further by illustrating the lines where it is shown that equations 1 and 2 are actually parallel. And since there is no intersection at all, there would not be any solution. This case is described as independent but inconsistent. 